this video really quick because I'm kind of in a rush. So, there's a 2001 Astro van, change out the alternator. So, what you want to do is you got to take your fan shirt out, you got to fight the thing to get it out. Uh, best way I recommend is just pull it out from this side, get your screwdriver, and kind of pry it out. And because this side's the hardest part to come out. Once you get it here, I have a um, half inch drive socket with a 3 8 on the end. You're going to use that on your belt tensioner. You're going to turn it and you're going to pop the belt off every so little. Like, get it to where it just it just sits there. You know what I mean? And then um, let me get these sides real quick. And then I'll take these off. We should be able to pull this out. But let me uh, let me go, go from here. All right, both sides is 13. So I don't really have a crowbar here. So I just did what I had to do. I have these little press and wrenches here. And what I did is I used two of the little ones made as much room as I can as possible got in here and wiggled them out I wiggled it and then it pushed I pushed it in here both of these and pushed down and it lifted it up I also sprayed WD-40 where the mounting bolts go so now that's out all I got to do now is unplug it from the back and then go from there put it back in there's gonna be another pain in the butt because I got to find a way to pull these little spacers back which I'll figure that out right now what I can do for that because um, that way the new alternator would just drop in and I can just match the bolts up all right so I got it to come down and drop out so now it's free how I did that is you're gonna get stuck on this side and make sure you have a flathead screwdriver and you're just gonna want to keep prying it up and down and it's gonna wiggle its way out um, yeah so try that method if you have a crowbar use a crowbar it'd be way easier uh, yeah. and then to get this plug out which is right here on the side of the alternator just stick your screwdriver in there like pull it forward stick your screwdriver going this way and you can pry up the clip and it'll push it out and then just reverse your steps now i gotta figure a way to push these spacers back and i'll show you that what i do once i'm done mind you guys i don't have all my tools where i'm at so i able to get my hammer in here and just hammer at an angle in a way like it's kind of hard to do it one hand but you can kind of get it but i was able to hit it enough outwards and also use wd-40 on it because you can see these are rusted and uh yeah so now the new alternator will be to go in and your new alternator before you stick it in there take off the bolt it goes on the back and then should be good so i'm going to start putting this back on also to double check everything i just, uh, heard someone say that you have to take this off you don't have to take this off obviously look at i already got this out but oh uh, yeah inspect your belts and uh before you before anything else too always remember to take pictures of your belt stuff like how the how you say diagram of it but take a picture of where all the freaking belt runs i can't get my words out how i'm getting the tensioner with this fan on extension half inch extension half inch drive with a 3 8 adapter on the end and then yeah you're able to pull those off just a little bit and there you go so i don't really have any suggestions of getting this van shell back in i know it's a big pain in the butt to do uh, the last time when i replaced the radiator on this thing i literally just you know forced it in there like man handled it and then got it in there but good luck to you guys have fun with it don't overthink it it's not that hard if you don't have the tools like i don't have well, if you don't have the right tools with you, I have the right tools. But if you don't have the right tools with you, just uh, use something like metal or something to get in there. And you'll be able to do it. So, have fun. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. If you have a different way of doing this or whatever, let me know. Stick the side in first. And that's going to bend up. You're going to probably smash this hose, but it's okay. It's, it's all right. Um, and this is gonna get smashed down. This is gonna get smashed down under there. So pull this up, pry it up, and then just squeeze this hose, squeeze it through here, pull it up, and then it should pop down. And here's obviously you know the bottom right here. You lift up, pull it up like that, and it sits on it. And then you just start putting your screws in. And then the rest of that stuff goes on. And yeah, guys.